Hi. Hi. I think I feel in better shape or look in a little better shape today. <laughs> I don't know why I cut my hair short like an army kind of style haircut. A little longer in the top and shorter on the sides. And here's how my past few days or so went. Well, I relentlessly work on trying to figure out how to get my wife and kids back. In the Bible, it says, let no man separate what God has brought together. So God brings together a husband and wife as one flesh. They're the same. And then you no longer put your parents first. When you, when you marry someone or you keep putting your parents first you honor them and you don't get married it's up to God whether or not you get married and God will bring you together with someone or not bring you together with someone then you're as one flesh with that person you honor them first they're your equal and you honor your parents second after that when you're married Unless you don't get married. So, it also says in the Bible, let no man separate. So, if there's people, if there's a divorce that you signed on paper that men signed, you're still really together in God's eyes. No man can separate those people. <laughs> However, if God separates you, then that's God that did it. But... It's hard, it's hard to tell if it's a man or a God that, that separated you or not. And you'll know if you think about that person every day and, and you still love them. You should stay together. The, God is against divorce. It's really bad. Anyway, the past few days or so, here's what happened. I started working on, on this house, on, on the house that I live in. So I can borrow against it, I believe. Well, I've borrowed against it before. When I first got here, I had a lot of cash that I could spend on the house to, to, to make the value of the house go up. Then I got a home loan, worked on it more. And the thing that I found was that I thought that I didn't like real estate type of work. That's what my parents do. And that's the same thing that I was doing on my own house that they do. It was a little different because it was my own house that I was making the value go up or something like that. I was, I was renovating. I was, I was doing their type of work, their kind of work on my own house. Wow. I look pretty good today. I think, I don't know. I might look different when I watch the video, but it looks pretty good here. For some reason and I worked on my house so much that I found these all these different things one after another I was like oh my gosh how am I gonna do this and then I needed to let, finally lay in bed most of yesterday afternoon because I was exhausted I had worked out a lot too I was working out a lot again and working on the house and trying to contact Danica so Danica so what I did was I couldn't go on anymore and I could barely move my body and I laid in bed Saturday afternoon I couldn't go on anymore sometime Saturday afternoon maybe two or three lay in bed the rest of the afternoon for hours until I, I finally ate a little bit of food with this medicine and um, you know prescription medicine I was supposed to eat, but Danica wants me to eat or something. And I ate the medicine and I went to sleep. But when I was laying in bed, I wasn't just doing, I wasn't doing nothing. I was trying to contact Danica and figure out how am I going to get them back in Roanoke? Am I going to fly there? What am I going to do? And uh, this morning I woke up and felt better finally. And I ordered some things from my house that weren't that expensive that will fit 
solved some of the problems and I felt better about it. And I went out there with this cup of coffee and it's a good cup of coffee. And I figured out where all this stuff went and I had ordered it. I had, it was too much for me to look, find all these different things on the house that I, I, I thought the house was, was way okay. And I found some new things. So after I had thought about it last night and finally went to sleep or yesterday afternoon, I realized, oh, it's not that bad. And I ordered the things that I, I want to work on the house for. And I realized that day and two days before, three days, be actually three days before, two days before that, I was very distraught three days ago. Again, because I found these other things. And then the next day I took it easy and I was like, oh, okay. And I worked in the house all day on and off. And it was the happiest day I'd ever worked at real estate in the past six years or eight years or 10 years, something like that, eight years. And I was very happy and I enjoyed it. And I worked in the house all day on and off. And then yesterday, the next day, I found all these new things after working on the house for a while. And I was like, it's too much. And I, and I was so distraught. I had to lay in the bed for four or five hours, could barely function, could barely move that much from, from working out so much and working on things. I must've been working 14 or more hours a day on my house. But just the, just the last few days of this week and today's Sunday, before that, I was thinking about how I'm going to get my wife and kids kept contacting and trying to contact them all day. And for some reason she wasn't responding. And I'd get in touch with them like at the end of the day or something. They'd finally, I get to talk to them. The message would finally go through. And I talked to my kids yesterday. I talked to Danica yesterday a little. And so now it's okay. I realized, I realized my house is good. And I went out there this morning and did some stuff and figured it. <laughs> and <laughs> and I, I was like, okay, it's okay again. I feel happy. It's okay. I can work on the house at a st slow and steady pace. See, I had found all these things at one time and there was Danica and this, this other family person who's a little more distant. I used to go to a hospital and I felt what's more important. I, I had to, I was writing my sister, make sure he's okay. The, the unsolved um, family thing, getting my wife and kids back. And I, I, it was t all these things happened in the house and I couldn't, and I had been working on the house a lot and physically working out a lot and I couldn't take any more. I had to lay in a bed for like four or five hours and I finally went to sleep. I got plenty of sleep, <sighs> finally, because the night before I hadn't had as much sleep. Maybe that had something to do with being so, uh, and uh, so today I'm okay. And I have not done a flexing of this bicep in a pose for a long time. I'm gonna try to, I'm, I'm just gonna do it, I think, or not. No, it's wrong. How is it wrong? I don't know. Wow, I look pretty good. I look pretty good. I look pretty good. I look pretty good. Yo. No, that's all right. I don't know. I felt like that that was wrong for a while to do that flexing muscle. In that way well I'm gonna go okay that's my update <coughs> I worked in my house a work week a, a, a full-time work week but I started later in the week <coughs> worked on it a little this morning today it's Sunday I don't, I don't usually work on Sunday, but sometimes it's not against the Bible, depending on what kind of thing that you're, what kind of stuff you're doing. 
more important to keep the Sabbath holy, which is Sunday, as Christians celebrate, so believe is uh, uh, been celibate for years, been celibate for years. Turned down many opportunities for women who thought I was attractive and <clears throat> said been out in the woods all alone working on this house for years and only going to my parents' house or the bank and not really much of anywhere else, maybe one or two times the other things. Pretty much my house for two years or three years. parents this is pretty much the only place I would go out there or the bank and I order groceries I order the rest of the stuff usually but sometimes I'd like to go out again and enjoy getting groceries again okay well I'm gonna go I think I look okay in this video somehow on this small video monitor appears so so I guess I'll go, and I generally don't go to church, but when two or three people are gathered in the name of God, then God is there. When two or three people are gathered in the name of God, then God is there. That's why church is good. Okay, but I don't always you go to church. Sometimes I don't go to church. There are sinners who, who go to church. There's some people who sin worse who go to church. It does not say in the Bible that you have to go to church as far as I know. And especially not to get into heaven. Well, I'm going to go. Okay. This is John Birmingham. Hi. Bye. I guess I'm going to go. <clears throat> oh, that doesn't look that. I thought it would look. <sighs> it's not bad. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> I'm going to go. Bye. I'm going to drink my coffee. That's it. Another John Birmingham update. And what I learned really is that I can enjoy real estate. I can enjoy real estate work. I can maybe go, I can go out there probably, maybe, and buy houses and sell them. Buy them, work on them for a long time, and then sell them or a short time. Work on them for a while until you get it looking good and then sell them and maybe keep some. <laughs> and I'd have to borrow the money from my parents. They have money I can borrow or get it from a bank and get them to co-sign. Something like that. So I know I'm able to do it again now. I used to think I, I'm so tired of it. I didn't like it. I don't want to. But when I take my time at it and do it at the pace that I can, that I'm able to do my, on my own at my own pace if it's too much I have to give that to God or at my uh, my own way I don't know what pace means pacemaker my uncle had a pacemaker <laughs> that's an anxiety word kind of well not really he had a pacemaker he made it to 78 um, okay I'm gonna go I feel okay I got my vitamin D levels back up again. I think my hair is looking better because the vitamin D had affected it so, somewhat. Um, not that that matters. You could be totally bald and, you know. Well, I'm going to go. Yep. I'm going to go. I feel very attractive looking in this video. I feel happy. And I don't know. 
if I really look that way or not because I'd have to see it on a big screen and who knows what I really look like. I might, I don't know. <sighs> so <sighs> all the glory goes to God and Jesus. I'm going to go. <sighs> dear God, dear Jesus, please protect us from evil. Forgive our sins. Forgive our sins. Help us to do what you want us to do on earth to get into heaven and to hopefully feel okay on earth too. Like I feel it now. Like I, I was unable to see last night as I laid in bed all those that for, for I was I was sad. I didn't know how to go on. And then it got okay again. <sighs> okay. Help us to feel okay too <clears throat> when appropriate on earth when appropriate on earth and to make it to heaven for eternal life because our souls are infinitely more important you know how you're kind to others you do good deeds for them yeah <laughs> you're you're kind to them like I was at my parents house I was very kind to them for a few days before that and then I kind of <sighs> took a while and then I was like wow really into my health I felt really happy and then um, something happened and I needed a break from working out and working on the house so much and there are things you can do by yourself to be kind too you can repent for the sin that you did you don't need others to repent necessarily but it may be possible to do it around others you feel very start, sad for remorseful for or sorry for the things that you did wrong like I shouldn't have done that I really shouldn't have done that and you know I did that for two or three years two years or three years something like that or maybe more before but um that's one way that you know you did wrong and you won't do it again and that helps God and Jesus too forgive our sins because we all sin we can't help it so please God help us do your will on earth work your will on earth as much as we're able to do and help us when we can't go on and help it to be okay help us to not give up keep doing our best and to rest when we when we can't go on anymore it's okay to rest Okay, bye. Bye, click like in the video. This is John Birmingham. This is John Birmingham. Okay, bye. Bye. Here's more videos on the side or in the video description, bye.